Hi, this is Brian Wilson with your Adobe Express 2-Minute Tech Tip. What we're going to do today is create a background graphic for any kind of document that you might be creating. So here you see I picked a letter size outline because I'm going to be working in a letter format, um, an 8 and a half by 11 and then once I go in I go ahead and pick a background graphic in the design elements or in the background elements and this one I wanted to pick a map mostly I wanted a topographic line set something that was going to give me two different colors when I go into my filter section so once I select it I made it my background on the actual graphic so now it's all the way laid to the bottom layer and you can see here I've gone into the effects and I began changing the different colors for the two two set color scheme there um, I wanted something that would be inside my branding colors, so if you want to, go ahead and pick your brand when you start. Secondly, I made a box, just a square, uh, a regular one, but I did make sure that I was going to have one with a border, and you'll see why we do that in a second. But with this one, I ended up picking it. It randomly picked it as orange, so I'm going to change my fill to white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out, center it on the page, and make it the background. Now once you do this, you can start messing around with the border to make sure it matches up with that background graphic that you made. The idea being that you want a transition that's clean between your white space that's going to be where you type on the document when you import this to whatever kind of document uh, writer that you use. And also, you want to have a nice break for the eyes to be able to move from the white space to the background or the graphic edging that you have. Uh, this is a nice way to add something to a resume, maybe even make it have a little pop, or if you were looking to do something at school and come up with some kind of graphic that would be on all of your documents and your letters. As always, you have infinite possibilities with Adobe Express. Choose your theming wisely, and I hope you enjoy building and creating on your own.